I've made lots of shorts about the taking of prisoners in and around D-Day in Normandy and had lots of responses that the Allies or the Canadians or whoever ordered to execute any POWs they may have taken because they'd slow down the advance. Um, there's lots of evidence to point that this is not true. Um, and one distinguished Canadian historian, Terry Kopp, who helped establish the field as it is today, has taken issue with this. And I quote from his book, Fields of Fire, Some historians have tried to contextualize the war crimes committed by the 12th SS in Normandy, reporting anecdotal, usually second- or third-hand evidence of killing of German prisoners. The reality is that there is no evidence, anecdotal or otherwise, pointing to the killing of enemy prisoners behind enemy lines in response to orders, nor is there any indication that other German divisions committed such crimes in Normandy. So he's looked at this a lot, has studied this for decades, been to the ground, been to all these places. Uh, I trust his research and what he's been able to find and, and this topic more so than random comments on the internet.